Hi, Irish Griffith, Code Enforcement Officer here. Wanted to discuss with you the permit application process. So when you submit an application, the things that I need from you are a completed application, which you can find online, or you can pick up a hard copy in the office, or you can call or email and I will send you one. That application is being updated, so it might be a little bit of a work in progress. You might get a different one now than the project you do next year, so bear that in mind. However, the information I need from you will always be the same. What I need from you is something showing you have right title and interest to do this. If you own the property, that's not a problem because you're the owner. If you're a contractor or, say, a friend of the family helping somebody, you need to provide either something in writing from the owner saying that you have the right to do this, or if you're doing a subdivision, you're a contractor. I just need documents showing that you have right title and interest to the property. Now, one of the items I do need is a plot plan. It does not have to be perfect, and I like to joke with people that I'm not judging your art skills because I can only draw stick figures. I just need you to sketch out the plot, show me where whatever structure you're putting on there is, and write out the, the distances to the lot lines. That allows me to see if you're meeting your setbacks. I need plans. Now you can submit stamped plans if you have an architect or an engineer that has designed your building. If not, then that's fine too. I can take unstamped plans. I can take hand-drawn plans. I can take plans drawn on a napkin. I just need plans that show me what you're building and how you plan on building it. The reason I need this is because I need to ensure, prior to approving you building this structure, that the structure is going to stand, that it's not going to collapse and hurt you, that it's going to withstand the test of time. So for example, you may need to provide me with information such as trust package specs. And I understand that when you first submit your permit, you may not necessarily have those specs. What I would need from you, I would provide you a conditional permit, and that permit would say that that trust package needs to meet these specific requirements, and I would call out the code. For example, right now, the 2015 IRC, if you were doing a house. When you receive the trust package information, you would need to provide that to me so I can review it to verify it does in fact meet those codes. So you can receive your permit with conditions that will allow you to start your, your building process and yet know that you need to provide me with the information that I need to ensure you're keeping yourself or your clients safe. If you're going to build a shed, what I will need from you is either to know that it's from a company that is provi providing a prefabricated shed, because I know those are built to code for our area. If you're going to build it yourself with a stick build, again, I will need that information on how you plan on building it, just as I would with any other structure. So you can call or email me if you have any questions about the application package. My email is code at berwickmaine.org. My phone number by call or text 752-6103, or you can call me at the office 698-1101, extension 122. Thank you.